Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're experiencing blue screen errors after installing new drivers or driver updates on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the start menu and type in Windows Update Best Match, should go back to Windows Update. Go ahead and open that up and select Check for Updates. And see if there's anything new that's ready to be installed. And you can also go down and select Advanced Options. And let's go down underneath Additional Options and select Optional Updates and see if there are any new optional updates available. Once you've done that, open up the Search menu and type in Device Manager. Best result, should come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. And now that we're in here, you want to expand underneath Network Adapter. Double click on that. Right click on your network connection in here and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers and select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select your network connection driver in here and then select Next. And once it's done, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. Now that we're back in the Windows, you want to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I have a couple of commands in the description of my video. First one is a DISM scan. Go ahead and copy that in from my description. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, paste it in. and give us a couple minutes to run. So once you're done with that, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video and run that.
And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hope that I was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.